I suspect the vast majority of you watching this video have heard of the team that we refer to here in the UK as Stour Bucharest. If you haven't, then Stour are the most successful club in Romania, having won a record 26 national championships and 32 other trophies. Except, we shouldn't really be calling them Stour anymore, since legally, that is no longer their name. Last week, I did a video about the death of Ukrainian outfit FC Dnipro. The team we know as Stour, thankfully, haven't been killed off, but their identity has, and most people don't know much about it. So today, we head east to Romania and take a look at how a former European champion lost their identity. To get us started, we must, as so often seems to be the case, head back to World War II. Romania had begun the Second World War with a stance of neutrality, resisting the pressure of fascist groups as the Allied force of Britain and France had guaranteed their territorial integrity. However, the ease with which Germany took control of France during the Battle of France in 1940 saw Romania lose confidence in their Allied support. As the far-right Iron Guard grew in popularity, the Romanian government turned to Germany for similar assurances. This wasn't enough, and the fascists in Romania soon staged a coup, and by November 1940, Romania's new military dictatorship had officially joined the Axis powers, providing the Nazis with equipment, troops, and oil. By the time it became clear that Romania had backed the wrong horse in the war, King Michael staged his own coup, and Romania actually ended the war on the side of the Allies, although this would gain them little sympathy once conflicts drew to a close. Soviet forces occupied Romania when the war finished, and they facilitated the rise of the Romanian Communist Party over the next couple of years, with the Socialist Republic of Romania officially being declared in December 1947. It was also in 1947 that Romania's new Ministry of National Defence founded a sports club named CSA Staua Bucharest. Almost 30 sports would be played by the new club, including association football, with a football club bearing the name ASA Stau Bucharest entering the top flight of Romanian football for the first time in 1947-48. In 1948, the football club changed its prefix from ASA to CSCA, meaning Central Sports Club of the Army. This was changed again to CCA, meaning Central House of the Army, in 1950, and in 1951, CCA Stau Bucharest won their first Romanian championship. The team was wholly owned by, controlled, and inextricably tied to the army. That 1951 title was among the first of three consecutive top-flight triumphs for Stauer, who began to establish themselves among Romania's footballing elite. In 1956, Stauer drew with the likes of Arsenal and Luton Town in a tour of England, losing only one of their four friendly games against Wolves. The 1960s and 70s brought just two league titles in each decade for Stauer, although they did record famous victory over Barcelona in the 1972 European Cup Winners' Cup. Stauer began to fall away in the early 1980s, not winning a trophy of any kind for five seasons, and finishing 4th, 5th, and 6th in Romania's Divizia A. This brief barren spell, however, would immediately precede Stauer's greatest ever triumph, and arguably the greatest, in the history of Eastern European football. A first league title in seven years in 1985 earned Stauer qualification for the 1985-86 European Cup, where they would go on an inspired run. The Danish, Hungarian and Finnish champions were all dispatched en route to the semi-finals, where Stauer looked to be in danger of throwing it all away against much more established European opposition in the form of Anderlecht. They lost 1-0 away in the Belgian capital in the first leg of the semi-final, but stunned their Western European opposition 3-0 back in Bucharest to set up a final against Barcelona. Fresh off the back of victories against Porto and Juventus, the Catalan Giants were enormous favourites, with the final being played much closer to home for them in Seville. And yet, with their all Romanian squad, and inspired by the heroics of their number one helmet Ducadam, Stauer managed to resist Barca's front line for 120 minutes and take the game to penalties. From 12 yards, Ducadam still couldn't be beaten, saving all four of Barcelona's penalties and earning himself the epitaph of the hero of Seville. Stauer were crowned European champions, becoming not just the first Romanian club to do so, but the first club from a communist country, and the first from Eastern Europe. This Stauer side weren't just a flash in the pan either. Romania's greatest ever player, Gheorghe Hadji, made his debut just after the final, scoring the only goal of Stauer won the UEFA Super Cup, and more European adventures were soon to follow. Stauer reached the semi-finals of the European Cup in 1987-88, and another final in 1988-89, thrashing Galatasaray in the semi-finals before being handed their own pasting at the hands of a quite brilliant AC Milan side in the final. Just as Stauer fell to Milan in Barcelona though, the Soviet Union was beginning to fall in Europe, and a new era dawned for the Eastern Bloc. The 1989 Romanian Revolution set Romania on a path towards a free market, and whilst that was brilliant for individual freedoms and liberties, it was terrible for Stauer. 
Romania's best footballers, such as Stavros Starman Hadji, inevitably departed. Of the 11 that started four star in the 1989 European Cup final, nine had departed by 1991. Stau would bounce back in terms of the Romanian game, but never again would they compete at the very apex of the European game. In 1998, Stau brought an end to their half century long association with the Army sports team of CSA and officially changed their name from CCA Stau Bucharest to FC Stau Bucharest. The change of leadership didn't improve results, as Stauer ended a run of six consecutive league titles with consecutive third place finishes. With debts mounting, Stauer needed investment. Their solution was to appoint multi-millionaire Gigi Bacali as vice president in the hope they would pump some much needed funds into the club. Bacali did more than that though, purchasing 51% of shares in the club to take controlling position over their affairs in February 2002 before taking the club public and purchasing an additional 14% of shares roughly a year later. The mid-2000s would bring about an improvement in Stowers' fortunes under Bacali, who appointed Walter Zenger as the team's manager, winning consecutive league titles and reaching the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup between 2005 and 2006. The next five years would herald mixed results for Stower, finishing as low as sixth in Liga 1, but enjoying the odd heroic European night against the likes of Dynamo Kiev and Galatasaray. There was a large degree of lingering discontent with regards to the club's ownership among Stauer fans though, even during the good times, and at this point, it is worth talking a little bit about George, or Gigi, Bacali. Sometimes on this channel I will refer to figures like Bacali as controversial, but I don't think that quite does him justice. Bacali is, it ought to be noted off the bat, a criminal. He was sentenced to three years in prison back in May 2013 due to a land swap with the Romanian army back in the 1990s. This is reported to have been the source of much of Bacali's wealth, and he didn't even own the land at the time that he agreed to the dubious deal with Romania's Ministry of National Defence. Bacali is a well-known figure in Romania, not because of his convictions, reportedly dodgy dealings, or his ownership of Stauder, but rather his Neolithic political opinions. Bacali spent three and a half years as an MEP and six months as a member of the Romanian parliament, the latter term being halted by his 2013 conviction. Bacali's family, like vast numbers of people who oppose Romania's Communist Party, had been deported to the Barragan Plain before he was born. This was due to their association with the fascist Iron Guard prior to World War II, and Bacali has maintained not just sympathies for the former Iron Guard, but outright support ever since. Bacali has always stood for right or far-right populist political parties, causing controversy with his comments at every turn. Bacali has called for a referendum on gay marriage, saying he would put forward two to five million dollars for a referendum so he can quote, finish off all homosexuals in the country. And he later faced legal action for stating publicly that Stauer would never sign a gay footballer. Bacali has also expressed tendencies of believing conspiracy theories, such as claims that Stauer's rival Cluj are being funded by the Hungarian Freemasons. He called a Romanian TV host who is of African descent a monkey, he has sung slurs, about the Romani ethnic group, and he reportedly refused to sign Florence Cinnamon Pongole in 2012 because the forward is black. Throw in the odd case of spitting, assault, and trying to smash up a casino when he lost money, and Bacali seems like an all-round standout guy. It's not hard to see why some Stour fans weren't best pleased about Bacali's ownership. In 2011, 13 years on from Stowers' split with the army and their name change, the Ministry of National Defence sued the club. As the founders of the club, Romania's National Defence claimed ownership of the Stower name, brand, logo, colours and honours. The courts ruled in favour of the army in December 2014, and in a flash, Stower, or no longer Stower, was stripped of almost everything which tied them to the club. They began playing with no branding, and indeed no name, with even the club's home scoreboard simply reading hosts where the club's name used to lie, leading to fans ironically chanting, come on hosts, at games. The army demanded millions for the use of the Stower name and branding, and Bacali wasn't willing to pay up. The only thing his team seemed to have retained was their UEFA coefficient ranking, their league standing, and their honours, and even they would soon come under threat. In March 2017, the Romanian Football Federation approved an application from the club to change their official name from SC Football Club Star Bucharest SA to SC Football Club FC SB SA. Yeah, not quite as catchy, is it? Now known Bacali wouldn't pay up, and in ownership of the entire Stour footballing branding and rights, the army once again set up their own team that same year, once again renamed back to CSA Stour Bucharest. They entered Romania's Liga 4, the fourth tier of Romanian football, for the 2017-18 season, with the aim of winning three consecutive promotions into the top flight. 
There were over 36,000 fans at their first ever game, despite the fact their regular home ground currently holds just a little over 1,500 people, and the club are yet to win promotion from the fourth tier in two attempts. Stour, or FCSB as they are now officially known, have gone four seasons without a league title since the 2014-15 campaign. They finished as Liga 1 runners-up on every occasion, but have only made the group stages of the Europa League once, finishing bottom of their group when they did. Just this summer, in July 2019, the courts ruled against FC SB once again, this time ruling that any trophies won by the singular club known as Stour Bucharest up until 2003 belonged to the army-owned CSA Stour Bucharest rather than FC SB. FC SB have challenged the ruling, which isn't definitive, and the authorities seem pretty split on the matter. The remaining courts and CSA Stau Bucharest consider CSA Stau Bucharest themselves to be the most successful club in Romania, despite their lowly ranking in the fourth tier, whilst UEFA and the LPF, Romanian football's governing body, still consider the club now known as FCSB to be the holders of 26 league titles and 32 other trophies, including that famous 1986 European Cup win. It's an incredibly messy situation, and one which doesn't seem to have a natural or happy conclusion for both parties anytime soon. Eight games into the season, FCSB sit 11th in the Liga 1 table, on course for their worst league finish in 53 years, although it is still early days of course. Supporters are perhaps the greatest victim of this conflict, now having the choice of whether to support FCSB or CSA Stau Bucharest. Major supporter groups Palooza Nord and Palooza Sud mostly stopped attending FC SP games in 2015, switching instead to the 2017 Stour. Inevitably though, some fell away and stopped following either team as the two groups united to form one single Palooza. A new fan group, Palooza Rose Albastra, started following FC SP also around 2015, believing them to be the real style. And if this is all sounding very Judean People's Front versus the People's Front of Judea, then that is because it is. Gigi Bacali remains a key figure at FC SB, despite adding much of his ownership of the club over to his nephews. Thank you all for watching today's video here on HRTC7s. I got a really lovely response to the Dnipro video we did, and I hope you all enjoyed this one too. Let us know if so in the comments, and show us with a like and by subscribing to the channel. And as always, feel free to let me know if there are any other topics you'd like to see me do videos on in the comments.